Today, we talk about paint. What kind of paint do I need to paint a model? Well, today, we're gonna to talk about some options. See you guys inside. Hello, and welcome to today's video. As we're gonna talk about paint. So, paint is what you make of it. So, there's good paints, there's bad paints, there's sparkly paints, there's all kinds of stuff, but today we're gonna to mainly focus on acrylic. So basically where I'm going to start this video today is after the primer is applied. Now primer is its own thing. We're gonna have a separate video on just talking about primers. But today is after the primer's on. So what does that mean? What, what can we do with different things? So I'm gonna focus mainly on acrylic paints and I'm gonna talk about several brands that are out there that have good things, bad things, and kind of work around the cost. So there's a lot of companies out there. There's Monument Hobby, there's Citadel Paint, there's Army Painter, Vallejo. There's just so many different types of paint. It can get so confusing on what you want to do. There's Golden, there's all the stuff of Hobby Lobby or Michaels and different things like that. But what's the right paint for what I'm working on? Well, today we're going to talk about some of the cool brands that are out there, kind of give you my opinions on what those brands have to offer and then kind of hopefully be a starter guide to what paint should I start getting for what I want to paint in my hobby. So before we hop into that though, if you're new here or if you like the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join us and give us a thumb up, show us that like. And also, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. So let's hop over to the desk and let's take a look at some of these paints. All right, so we've got a wide arrangement of paints, like I said in the intro here. And you guys can see I have bottles all over my desk and actually I just realized I'm even missing a few more brands. Uh, it's a lot of paint, right? Kind of interesting, odd thing to look at, but what is best? What's the best paint to use? Well, I can tell you right now, it's honestly your opinion. So there is no perfect paint. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that right now, they can be, they could sell their bottles for 50 bucks and it wouldn't be still be perfect. So a lot of times you'll see me printing things like, this is a resin 3D print that I've, pr that I've primed and I've started painting on. And I'll tell you right now, I've used probably four brands, different paints on this to get, start getting the look that I'm getting on it. Now, you know, you have the cheaper paints that range from like a dollar to a buck, you know, to a couple dollars. Um, Apple Barrel is a great brand. I love using this for large amounts of base colors. Um, when I'm doing like military naval models, stuff like that, when I need the hull red and I got to do the entire thing, I'll probably go reach for Apple Barrel because it's cheap. You get a lot and it can go a long way. So Apple Barrel, there's nothing wrong with cheap paint. Okay. What you need to keep in mind is when you're painting, Thin your paint. If it's going on gloppy and weird stuff, thin it. Now I use distilled water, or if I'm airbrushing, I'll use a scale 75 acrylic thinner is the one that I actually enjoy to use. So, but distilled water works just fine. So Apple Barrel, there's nothing wrong with it. So if someone tells you, oh, you have to use Citadel, they're wrong, period. So that's one paint that I use, especially in large projects. So, other paints that I use, especially when I'm doing like facial features and stuff like that, um, AK is really great for its color. If you're looking for pastels, brights, AK Interactive does a good job of this. So they're a great brand out there too. So another brand that is very heavy in the market and pushes a lot in the market is Army Painter. They're war paints. They're good. They do a good job. I find that they dry quickly and I have to thin them down. And they do have their speed paints, which works really, really well too. When we get further down in the video, I'm gonna talk about a little bit, especially with Citadel, they break up their paints into certain types. And I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more. But like this metallic Zephyr pink, I'm getting ready to use to help with that wonderful Zerg base. So it's a paint that's out there. These run about three or four bucks a bottle. AK is more than that. Another paint company I really, really like is Tamiya. Um, their X19, the smoke, is great for detailing. Um, it works really well. It's acrylic. All these are acrylic that I'm talking about today. So keep that in mind as we talk about this. So 
It's a really nice acrylic. I really like their colors. I really like putting Tamiya through the airbrush. Um, it works really, really well. I use this one more as a highlighting, but um, just their colors are really, really strong and they work really, really well. So Tamiya is a great brand to consider. And a lot of times you can find these anywhere from three to $6 a bottle. Now, we're getting down into the other brands that I use. Golden. I love their transparents. Their transparent paints come down great, but they are expensive. Um, their transparent paints are about, start anywhere from $5 and can go to $10 a bottle. Um, but they work really well. You can find these anywhere like Michael's and stuff like that. Um, but links will be in the descriptions to Amazon links to find golden paints as well. I use them. I really like the transparency from them. So a very expensive and hard to find one, Chimera. They have good colors. They do good things. And I really like how they kind of differentiate. Um, but I've always found I have to thin them down really, really well. So a little bit of this goes a long way. Um, but I don't use these as much as I prefer, but they are a really good blend, especially when you thin them out. Scale 75. I love their metallics. Um, scale color does a really good job. Um, scale 75 with their scale colors, their metallics are very bright. Um, they do really, really well. And I love how they kind of do the alchemy um, with like the the amethyst that's pulled into this one to give it more of a purple metallic. Um, I find their paints very helpful when I'm looking for something very unique. Their black metal is very nice. It's a darker metal tone. Um, not as dark as the dark silver you guys would see me using a bunch, but it is a very good color. Um, so their paint line does really, really well. Turbo Dork. If you're looking for something interesting, you see how they have that. They have specific kind of blend metallics. The only thing you got to remember with this is it goes on thin and you've got to do four or five layers and make sure you read the instructions on the bottle um, to make sure that you're getting the correct way to lay down. Because some of these you need to lay down on white. Some of these you need to lay down on black to get the correct blending that you're looking for. But Turbo Dork is really good for um, like if you're looking for that muzzle burn and stuff like that or heat warp in metals and stuff turbo dork is really great for achieving that and you guys can see msrp is about six dollars a bottle for this i buy a lot of my stuff all over the place uh, miniature market um, hobby lobby um, hobby town usa from is where i've been getting a lot of my tamias mark twain hobby they are a really good one. If you're looking for a model kit, a lot of times Mark Twain Hobby will have it. They have their own website. Link will be down in the description down below. Now we're getting to my top three. Vallejo. It works really well. Um, their colors lay down really good and they have a lot of unique color strings and a complete airbrush line um, that basically a little bit of thinner and throw in with your airbrush and away you go. So. Uh, works really, really well, really great colors, different color blends, and what you see is what you get. Um, so kind of keep that in mind, specifically like with this one, I've laid it down once in the eye, and you guys can see the color is the color that was laid down. Um, I need to do more on those eyes, but that's a whole different story. So Vallejo. Next is Citadel. I love Citadel paints. They're a little pricey for some things. Um, these are about $5 a pot. That's the one thing I don't like about them. I hate the pots. Um, making sure that your lid is closed and everything is always a problem. Um, I've found that they tend to dry out a little bit faster, but the colors you get are fantastic. And talking of Citadel, the blues on here, the golds, that's all from Citadel's paint line. That blue is one layer over black and then coming in with a second blue to create a highlight, Lethal Blue on McCrag Blue. And you guys can see there's a lot of really nice detail, but Citadel also breaks up their paint line into, so they break their paints up into bases, layers, and shades for one set of their paint line. And you go in with the base, you'll come back with the layer, and then you'll come back with the shade, to create the wear and tear is how they've designed it. But they also have what's called a contrast line. 
They come in a bit bigger yellow pots and this lays down very differently. It settles it into the creases. The paint will, is more runny, which means sometimes more paint layers, and it'll settle down into the creases and create a natural highlight on its own versus having to do the base layer shape. So a lot of times this can be just a contrast and a shade and you're done. So um, kind of keep that in mind with what you're doing. Um, these paints are thinner. I like putting them in the airbrush. Um, it kind of makes life a little bit easier. But so they have their stuff kind of broken up and they also have an airbrush line as well. Now to my favorite paints right now. Monument Hobbies Pro Acryl. I love, love this dark silver. I use the dark silver in a ton of metallics. It's the base of all that metallic dark in this model. It just lays down well, it looks clean, and I love using it. And the face colors, they're gunmetal, um, their paints are just smooth. Um, the bottles are nice, the bottles already pre-include a ball bearing, so when you start shaking, that bearing's in there, breaking it up, just like you would see with a paint can and stuff like that. And even their rich gold, you guys can see the colors. They're really spot on. Even their tanned flesh is a very good color mixture. I love using these colors. I use them a lot and no, they don't sponsor me, but um, I basically have pretty much the entire product line because I, their colors just work really well. They have a lot of different colors. They have a transparent line and I believe now they've come out with a new shade line um, that I don't have, but I mean, just their color assortment is fantastic for what they offer. So they're definitely ones for consideration. They're a little bit more expensive. Now, okay, got the entire paint line laid out here, right? If I was just starting out, just me, Barrel is one I would get. But Alejo is one I would get. And I would get some Citadel. That's my recommendation for you. Start with these and make sure this is something that you wanna do. And if you want to up your game, Money Me Hobby. That's my recommendation. I, I just can't say enough about these paints. All of these have a space within my workspace. These three definitely are my top runners that I use a ton. Um, is the Citadel, Vallejo, and Monument Hobby. They just work well. They're quick. Um, they all kind of have their flaws, but... They're good paints to work with. So hopefully you guys have found this information good, interesting and good, but let's close this video out. All right guys, that's paints. A lot of options, a lot of craziness, but finding what works best for you is the goal. Now, what I've hit on is just a fraction of what's available. So kind of keep that in mind, take a look at the paints that are out there. Um, my advice, my advice is it's okay to start cheap. You don't have to go buy Citadel paints because you're doing a Warhammer model or go buy all these Monument Hobbies because that's what they say I need. You don't need to do that. Go find the paints that work for you. I mean, in all honesty, I started off with little tubes of just cheap acrylic paint that I found at Hobby Lobby or um, even Dollar Tree has acrylic paints to start with, especially if you're doing flat base colors. Those paints may be just what you need to get started and start working on your techniques and stuff to find out that this is something that you want to really want to go into. So always keep that in mind. Just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's the best. So thank you guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button for me. And if again, any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.